Hey, it's Bradley here and welcome to SuperDAO. We're making it easier than ever to start and operate DAOs and today I want to actually show you how our platform works. Now we're currently in private beta, so to get access to the DAO creation engine, you've got to apply for the whitelist on our landing page and we'll just simply drop you an access NFT via email. You need to claim your NFT from the email. You'll then add a name to your organization and your DAO is live. And by the way, the email airdrop is available for creators as well, so you can use it for your DAO. So let's start with the profile. The DAO profile is basically a crypto profile of your organization. We pre-filled plenty of fields there, but you can customize all of them, such as the description, the profile, the image, and so on. Just go to the settings and edit all the fields. And after you've set it all up, you can actually share it with your community on your social media. The most important thing you can see on this page is the NFT collection address. The default collection address we pre-created for you comes with information on admins, treasuries, and so on. We use Polygon for smart contracts and make them fully customizable, which means that you can add new modules, such as an NFT, sale, a treasury and more, all later on when your organization grows. So let's get back to the profile page. After we set up the basic information about your DAO, we suggest adding some documents in the document section, such as a DAO constitution, which is a set of rules or other documents. And you can also contact us through the support chat if you have any questions at this stage. We're always there. The next important thing is a membership NFT collection. According to our protocol, holding an NFT defines membership in a DAO, and that's why we work a lot on tools to customize your collection and distribute NFTs through airdrops and sales. Let me show you how to customize your NFT collection to basically set up 90% of your organization at the very start. Here's the NFT admin panel. Here, you can customize the collection's metadata. You'll be able to set the collection's name and the token symbol, the description, and you'll also be able to customize membership tiers. All of this information will be read by OpenSea, Rarible, and other NFT marketplaces and wallets. NFT tiers are basically roles and statuses within your organizations, so you should think about them right at the start. For example, you can give more utility to a particular tier, such as access to token-gated content, events, or chats. You can even unequally distribute governance power across tiers. In my case, I'm going to remove all of the default tiers and set up my own. I'm going to simply start with just one tier for the founding members because I can add more tiers later on as my community grows. And here you can see that you can customize your tiers quite a fair bit. You can add one piece of artwork or multiple artwork inside one tier. You can make them transferable or non-transferable and also set the reseller fees. And this all means that if your NFT is resold, then 10% goes back into the DAO. We're also continuing to improve this admin panel for you. So you've got more and more features based on your needs as time goes on. So please make sure to share any feedback and any feature requests based on it. The tier is ready. Now we can start a public or private sale right from the admin panel. So now you're ready to distribute your NFTs and add new members to your organization. We support two kinds of NFT distribution, free NFT airdrops and paid NFT sales. But let's start with the first one. To perform an airdrop, go to the Members tab and click Add Members. You need some member credentials to airdrop, by the way. These could be wallet addresses or email addresses. In terms of wallets, everything's pretty simple. NFTs just appear in members' wallets and they might get a notification via email too. If you only have the emails of your users, that's also okay. You just add those emails and we'll send them a link via email that will enable them to claim their NFTs. So simply upload the list of the wallets or email addresses, or just do it manually, one by one, and the NFTs are sent. You can see the people who are in your DAO. And also, we'll add more and more credentials in the future, such as Discord, Telegram, Twitter, and so on. The second option for NFT distribution is the NFT sale function, and you can customize this in the NFT admin panel. And we saw that already. Here's how an NFT sale looks in a DAO profile. It's important to mention at this stage that we support the whole checkout flow. There are two options here. The first one is a checkout with stable coins, which means that users can buy a, say, variety of NFTs with a variety of stable coins on the Polygon network. The other option is a checkout that accepts credit and debit cards. We definitely recommend this flow because it's not only user-friendly, but conversions are pretty high too. So you set up an NFT sale, you've airdropped some NFTs, and now you need to collect some money. Let's go to the treasury tab. Basically, it's a place where all of your money is stored, and we support two chains for assets in the treasury, Ethereum and Polygon. But this is just for the time being. You can store any type of asset inside the treasury, such as tokens, NFTs, and so on. You don't need to set it up manually because we've already pre-created the treasury based on a Gnosis safe protocol for all of the DAOs on our platform with the admins of a Gnosis safe being the admins of the DAO. This treasury becomes your main safe, the address to which you'll receive funds by default. If you'd like to add more wallets, 
will be able to help there too. For instance, you can split funds between an investment wallet and an operating wallet in your treasury. You can also start a new transfer right from the treasury tab using any wallet which is connected to the treasury. For instance, to reward contributors, to make new investments and so on, well, this function is useful there. And it's fully transparent, which means that all of your members can see how this money was spent. And it's for this reason that we let you describe the transaction and add some notes to the transactions that were made later down the line. Now, the next tab is voting. And here, you can create new polls and let your community vote on the current ones. And there are two types of voting systems on our platform. There's easy to use off-chain voting by SuperDAO and decentralized governance voting systems by Snapshot Protocol. We suggest using them in the following combination. Start with the simple off-chain voting by SuperDAO, onboard your community and engage your members, and only then take more complicated decisions with snapshot governance. These decisions could be things like engaging with grants, investments, memberships, and so on. With snapshot governance, you can also grant different voting powers to tier holders. For example, you can make rare NFTs more influential during a voting session when needed. And also, if you've got any voting systems relating to investments, you can give more voting power to the investment tiers and less voting power to the other members of the community. You can customize all of these settings in the voting tab right here. If a tier doesn't allow voting power, you can indicate zero. Now that's all for now about governance, so let's move on to the last part, the newsfeed. The newsfeed on SuperDAO is basically a very easy token-gated feature that you can add to your DAO. Only members of your DAO can see the information that you post, and once your member claims or purchases your NFTs, they can access the very first news regarding your DAO. We recommend adding some tips and onboarding flow, recommendations, and some very basic information here. So that's it for the product. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please head on over to our knowledge base to explore more features in greater deal about our product. We've also got plenty of product releases coming over the next few months, so stay tuned. And don't forget to leave your feedback to the video. Bye for now.